Today, I'm going to share what cars you shouldn't buy in Gran Turismo 7. I will even show you the list of these cars as well. Stay tuned. First of all, to give you more of a clearer picture of where I'm at, I'm almost done unlocking all the racetracks when I made this video. I probably unlock all the tracks by the time this video is released. Anyways, for beginners like myself or people who have already watched videos of Gran Turismo 7, you will have already known about Luca from the cafe. Luca will provide you missions to collect cars and give you brief information of the car's history after you collected them from winning races. So, there's a list of cars that you can collect without buying them with your credits. This is the list of all the cars I have right now. If you take a closer look, almost all the cars are given to be from winning Luca's missions. This red gift icon tells you that this is a gifted car, therefore I didn't buy it with my credits. It was rewarded to me as a gift. And if you go over this list of cars that I owned, you can see some worth more than the others. Depending on your preferences, you may want to buy your collection of certain car brands. On this list, you can see on the top that I have 4 Porsches. I actually bought two out of the four from the used car dealership, the blue one, the 81 foot turns out to be one of gift cars anyway if I didn't buy it. It was around 200,000 credits each, which isn't too bad, because it could be worse. To show you what I mean, look at the three GTRs at the bottom of the list. Even though I'm not really a hardcore fan for Skyline GTRs, I was tempted to buy the R34 at the very beginning. But I end up didn't buying it as I got a gift or 32 which I already shown you at the start of this video. So, let's go out to the Brand Central and see what I mean. Let's go to Nissan and look for our GTRs. The 17-foot GTR cost around 95,000 credits, which is not bad really. But what about the 34? Let's see. 450,000 credits, that's two of my 81 Porsche Carrera that I mistakenly bought. But does that mean you shouldn't buy any cars at all? No, because there are actually a few cars that I think they are limited, and you should buy it when you see them in the used car dealership. For example, when I see this Suzuki Cappuccino, I instantly bought it. I never thought this game would have had in actual K cars. and I saw this Daihatsu Coupan, and bought it right away as well. This is actually quite cool as I believe this is the only K car that has a hardtop convertible with it. And I continue scrolling down at the bottom, there are lots of classic cars that are available. You know. Like old Ferraris, older Fairladies, Mitsubishi Lancer Evos. Depending on which brand you want to collect, Okay, I think it's time to go over the list of gift cars on the list again. Here we go. 